would like to invite Dr. Shekhar Paranspesar, who is going to talk to us about secret super blade for SICS scleral incision. So over to you, Shekhar, sir, for your presentation. Shall I share my screen? Yes, sir. Shall I share my screen? Yeah. Yeah, the title of my presentation is Secret Superblade for SICS Surgery. You may find similarity in this name and actor Amir Khan's movie Secret Superstar, which is being portrayed by Zahira Vaseem. It is really secret because very few ophthalmologists have seen this blade. Dr. Suhas Hartipurkar, Dr. Rajiv Rao from Pune, our own Dr. Jagannath Goramani, Dr. Vidya Sagat Savgoli from Miraj, my son Dr. Gauro and my daughter Dr. Dipti Purhavi, they have a glimpse of this blade, super blade. I am practicing ophthalmologist since 1982. My transformation from ECC to sutureless cataract surgery was something like this. ECC to FAPO in 1992 to SICS, in 2010, I learned SICS last in the sequence. Reason for the fear, anxiety, sleepless nights for creating good scleral tunnel incision. Through and through scleral tunnel incision or too thin incision or scleral button holding were main fears in my mind. Those who are expert now in scleral tunnel incision, please remember their own learning days. My dictum, as goes the incision, so goes the surgery, was not satisfying as far as, as, far as SIC incision is concerned. As against clear corneal 2.8 or 2.2 millimeter incision is cakewalk for FACO surgery, isn't it? So finally, I learned SICS when time has come for the skill transfer to the juniors. In this skill transfer process, there was need to simplify SIC incision. And this is how we got it done. This is a super blade. This is 6 mm long, 0.3 millimeter, 300 micron guarded curve blade. See how firmly I am pressing on the globe but it will never go through and through in the sclera. So we have created a frown incision of 0.3 millimeter depth, and then you can comfortably make a scleral pocket. This is an overview of the plate, gross photographs, 300 micron plate from different angles. I use this blade only in 60 SICS cases over the last three years. Besides me, nobody has used it. In none of the cases, there was through and through scleral incision. Let us have again a review, review of the photo to find any deficiency in this incision. Here you can see at the ends of the blade, the incision is little deeper than in the center. This needs to be rectified in future design of the blade. Those who have performed hundreds and thousands of incisions with different permutations and combinations of wound architecture, this blade should not and will not attract them. But, but, but for the beginner, I feel this is a safe blade. Is all that matters? No. Predetermined length, depth, and crown gives predictable refractive outcome. We got consistently minus 1 to minus 1.5 diopter astigmatism when the incision uh, around 90 degree axis when the incision is positioned at 12 o'clock. This new design of super blade will simplify the scleral tunnel incision. 
but more than that it will give predictable refractive outcome as per the demand of the surgeons and if the manufacturing manufacturer is in obliging mood then they may give us blades of different length different depth and different curves thank you very much thank you